one owner car guy and what I've got here for you today is a beautiful one owner 1990 Fleetwood Flare. Now this is a great little 26 foot motorhome. Possibly the best thing about this one is this one little guy took care of it. It's only got 33,000 original miles on it. This thing runs down the road just tight as can be, shifts beautifully, steers beautifully. It is a nice riding feeling motorhome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my once around here, kind of show you the once around, and then I'll do the twice around, go up close here and show you any of the minor flaws or damages or anything like that. And then we'll go inside and what I'm going to do here on this one probably is test drive it back to the house and then I'll go ahead and go up and show you it in a different light as well to where we can see it in the shadow, shadowier, shadowier, yeah that, to where you can see the sides easier and stuff. Well, my name's Nathan, it's 406-544-6919, you can reach me anytime. My website, www.oneownercarguy.com, check that out, anything on there, I do lots of one owner cars, trucks, SUVs, motorhomes, you name it. In fact, I just did a beautiful 1973, we're going to have somebody come in front of, I'm actually going to go in front of them, just like that, just like that, we'll walk right in front of that guy, cut in front of my video, dude. Okay, I'll show you underneath. Got in a right away there or something. Come on, low level light adjustment, let's go. There we go. Absolutely beautiful under here. Everything's really clean. I'm sure you find a damp gasket or something somewhere, but this is one clean machine. And it ain't leaving leaky trails all over the place or nothing like that. It is in beautiful condition. They got a concert going next door. I hope you can hear me. Light smudge across the front where he kind of streaked into something. I think they did it at the auction. This is out of level just a little bit. And you can see inside where you could just undo the bolts and kind of level it out. Chip in the headlight there. Easy fix. And that is kind of your once around. I'm going to go up close now and we'll start around the back and kind of show you any damage with it. And I'll show you underneath the back actually too while we're doing this. So oneownercarguide.com, Nathan, 406-544-6919. Coleman AC on top and all that and I'm not going to be able to plug in for you or nothing. But here's the, I guess the worst thing I can say about this is the cracking on the sticker that you can see there and it's all the way down the sides and what most people do on that is kind of tape it off and just respray it it makes it really easy um, but you can see it here better maybe how it's got that light checking cracking all the way down the, the sticker and lighter but still the same thing up there kind of window seals and all are good I think that one's an emergency exit climb up here, put this around my neck in case I fall down here. All right. The roof is in very good shape. Everything on it's nice. You see a couple areas there on the side where over time it gets a little curled up. A guy could see it's not anywhere like that. Right on the side there you can see a couple now your canvas, um, whatchamacallit, um, awning is kind of rippy-duppy. Um, that bumper down there is just slightly off. And I don't know what that pole was for, some kind of something. But the roof's in great shape. Not a leaker here. Even your plastic parts seem to be all in great shape. Some of the stuff, like I say, is flaking off the top. And a guy should kind of maybe do some preventative maintenance. Don't let me fall down now. Keep track and like kind of push on me or something. If I fall, dude, I'm getting old. I don't look too old to fall. That's just all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and head out here. Now this step is just a little bit off on that pole and it'll kind of move on you. And dang it, look at there. That screw is just not all the way in on that. And that needs to be tightened up a bit. 
Um, other than that, man, everything on this, absolutely beautiful. That's an access for stuff um, to do with your pumps and everything, I think. It's in great shape. Hitch, all that. This tire is in great shape. I don't even think it's ever been. No, it hasn't. There's um, face tread titties. And titties all over the side, too. Titties on the glass. There's like a little bit of corrosion starting around that little piece of flashing on that, I guess you'd say. Awning's all in operable condition, but you know, you get that thing tore out there, I think you're gonna get some splits. Um, going down this side, not bad, but right here there's a little bit of a wave to it. Hello, not like that. A little bit of a wave to it right in here and right in here. And I think it's just over time a little, it is a little loose right there versus here it's not. So, don't know what happened over time on that. This piece of trim here is just a little bit off, and I think that's part of, ha! Part of what's holding it in and holds it in is that right there. In fact, yeah, you get that little bolt in it, and well, that takes out half of it right there. I got a good crew of people that screw things back together and everything for me. So, you know, and there's just no way to catch everything. I had a guy comment yesterday like, well, you're blaming that on somebody. Well, technically, yes, I am. Um, somebody gets paid to look at something, we need to make it right. And on the other hand, you can't catch everything on this. And I'm not trying to hide things, I want you to see what it is. So we just kind of do it to it and I ain't telling you these things are perfectly detailed. I'm selling this stuff cheap and you get down to it, you just, you can't get a better deal. I leave a couple things for somebody to do, like the awning. Somebody may never use that awning. And so I hate to put the money into it and make you buy it right now on the front. Um, that bumper, we noticed it on the way over, and a guy could definitely fix it a little. This little piece here hangs down in the front a little bit, just a teeny, teeny bit. There is a chip in the windshield. A little bit of marks here from this piece, I think is what it is when the wiper moves. Um, all your seals and everything are tight. It got bubbles in the tent there. Same thing on that checking of the Thing here. A guy might want to get a can of ivory paint and do a little sanding here and ivory paint this. Um, it would look great. Back of your burner and stuff. Got a key lock tank that I kind of had to take the key lock out of. So it's a key lock tank that's not key locked no more. Access for everything. Well, that's pretty much your twice around. And we're gonna go ahead and get out of here now and head on out. We're gonna head out here and get on the road and do like Willie. We got good radio, a little static on when you first turn it up. And it'll play nice, I just don't wanna play somebody else's music or anything there. 33,263 miles. Cruise control and all. Let's see if we can keep the plates from going all over. They really went all over in that 455. I think I got a little bit happy when I was doing the GMC review. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, the GMC review is just a couple videos ago on my channel here. And it's one of them 73 GMC, actual GMC builds. And it's um, got a few more miles, but is just beautiful classic vintage motorhome. Okay, on the test drive. This thing runs and drives nice, beautiful. Shifts beautifully. And doesn't do too, all, too bad on fuel, it seems. Uh, Rolls right along. 
It's very nice to drive, it's very easy to drive. The size on this is just about perfect. I think a 26 foot is likely the most perfect of a motorhome. If you're not going to go with a Class B and get a 20 footer or something, which is quite nice and easy to get around in. These still are, and you can pull into the mini mall parking lots and get a pizza at the Little Caesars. In fact, the reason I say that is because that's exactly what we did today. Thing goes, buddy. Just like it should. Okay, you get a longer test drive on this one because we were down at the school. I gotta kinda hug the left hand side here in a minute because there is some awfully low hanging branches on the right, as you can see there. Or I guess you'd say overgrowth. Now the house up in front of the cul-de-sac where I take my pictures, it just sold. So there's new people there and they're not familiar with us. And here we come with one of the biggest things we could picture. Yes, sir. And there's Samantha. She's got some more paperwork for us. This is like Mission Impossible. Then it didn't. We got the we got the the docket pack. Yeah. Okay, well. Beautiful RV. God, I get up here worrying about power lines. Let's see how this bad boy turns around, too. This is the tightest place I've turned it around. Oh, yeah, this thing turns on a dime and gives you two cents change and a nickel to. Yeah, something. I don't know. I was just going to make something up there. Two cents change part was okay. My camera is getting so hot right now. I do believe it's going to shut off, but I'm going to try to make it through the rest of this and then we'll get out and take some pictures and kind of roll you in differently on this. I do like to get the pictures in the evening time as well. If you are looking for a nice motorhome that has low miles, well, stop it. Just stop it. It's right here. Okay, that is the overview. Uh, all your wipers and all that stuff works. Uh, I'll show you that again. Thirty-three thousand. Um, Two ninety-three on your generator. Them things are cool with them little spring-loaded things on them. You gotta, I'll bet you need to do a fuel filter or some other stuff. Um, a guy's gotta kind of mess with the throttle and set it and all this kind of stuff. And I don't know much about how to work these things. I know this thing runs great. I know it has about 200, can you get this? One owner car guy, and I'm gonna show you the interior of this thing pretty thoroughly now. Um, Crank the generator, did all that. Let's go ahead and go in and show you the motorhome on side. Little wrinkle on that there. I don't know if they replace this or if it's original or what, but it's in great shape. It's older. Uh, but and it shows like a scuff from a shoe there. You can see. Got my lens adjust. The camper is in great shape. Camper, RV, motorhome, whatever you may call it. This um, arm here, it holds here, but if you come out, it comes down. And I think that it, you know what? 
I honestly think it's kind of unthreaded. And I honestly think flipping it around a couple times almost. No. Unless I was going the wrong way. Hey, now that's a thought. It's a little loose. This one's not. Driver's just, just beautiful. Nowhere on the pedal. Well, of course not. There's 33,000 original miles. Couple little marks right here. I just like to be totally up front with everything. And this, I think. The sun kind of made it do a whoop de whoop a little bit. And same thing along this. You can see there the wood where this is off. Now, oops, I just got caught on the gear shift there. Hang on. There's no mildewy, watery smell or anything or anything, but this window here got knocked out, and I think if anything, that probably maybe left some moisture in or something, but it's not damaged or nothing. There's some stains and such. Does not leak. Um, there's a chip in the windshield. Besides that little bit around the front windows, and here's your breakfast nook type of... Ooh, wait, hang on. It's supposed to be a little bit better than that. Oh, yeah. By the way, your uh, paperwork and stuff. I don't know if I showed this all. See, this got a little damp. Hang on now. There's your... Auto check. All that. I'll take this and set it in the sink for now. Which is a... Of course, now I want to show you the sink. The sink's in great condition. That's the registration card. My mom helped me set up some stuff in here to have it look nice. It looks nice. It looked nicer before I drove around. The motorhome ain't perfect, but it sure is nice. Storage. Some people replaced them and I just left it to where it had that on it. Like I say, the Toilet's in great shape now. Oh, I showed you in the bottom already how it's got a, a small crack there. And then, like, that was put on it by us. Um, it's not leaking a lot. It's a small crack, but my bug guy's like, well, you should put white tape. Actually, that guy don't work here no more. <laughs> That's likely one of the reasons. Um, I don't want to hide it. I want you to see it. So you could fix that however you want to fix it. Pull out the pan and replace it if you want it. Whatever. I think this all flips down for some extra people, extra sleeping. It's in great shape. Light bulb or two outs um, here or there. But, well, now hang on. It just wasn't on all the way. I guess you put it on the setting for one, it goes one, and two, you go two. Yeah. This one has light bulbs out. Well. Man, I want to go somewhere. Go camping. Sure do. Well, that's your interior review. I got some different pictures of it yesterday. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. Um, import, export, I'll ship this right to your port. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Check out my channel. I've got a fifth wheel on there and a 73 GMC motorhome like the one from Stripes on there also. Um, 
I do a lot of low mileage, cool, clean, classic Euro type of stuff. Thanks for watching. 406-544-6919. Well, I did it every which way I could think of. Showed you just everything I could possibly think of showing you. It's in great condition. Um, I was gonna make sure there just ain't nothing that I forgot. Like I say, there's a bulb or two that's out. I put your manuals in here. Don't ask exactly. I want to make sure. Glad I came back through. Which now it won't be back through. I'll probably put this in front of the other one. And that window, like I say, I replaced. And this is wrinkled up in here. Just slightly. And I don't try to repair it. You can squeeze that back together and make it look great. Do whatever. I don't know. Whatever you do, you want to put some oil on that hinge, do it. There's a tape right there. Really? Don't seem to be missing nothing. It looked like you had an extra key in there or something. Great shape. Beautiful RV. Here comes the rest of the interior. Um, this one here. Let's pull this down. Yeah, see? Yeah, it goes. I just... It's hard to do with a camera. Hard to do with a camera, I tell you. They're all in great shape, though. It's just a guy might like these nicer, newer ones I got. I decided to do something a little bit different here. Just to where I knew you'd seen everything. <clears throat> home sweet home, by the way. Just wanted to make sure you've seen everything. Everything, everything. Smoke detector missing, or carbon dioxide. Uh, there you go, smoke detector. You need a new one. Um, I took the tape off the tub. Let's see. Uh, it's cracked like a few ways there. Yeah, that's why we put it. I wouldn't be showering in it. Um, so that would need to be repaired. The toilet's in wonderful shape. Well, that is it, and your shoes squeak on every bit of porcelain you touch. I know it sounds like I did a toot there, but I didn't. Beautiful motorhome. And I did a different view with the shade open. We replaced this one, so it's a lightly different color than that. Um, and I wanted to show you that this one here has a little bit of a bend in it. You might end up getting some Walmart new ones. Those are aluminum. And actually, they rattle around a little bit more than the fiberglass ones. Well, my name's Nathan. 406. <laughs> I never want to push on this too hard. 406 544 6919. Miniature beagles like crazy, buddy. Coming to get us, too. Get them rounded up, breeder. Okay, well, Nathan, 406 544 6919. OneOwnerCarGuide.com. 33,000 mile, 1990 Fleetwood Flair. Beautiful motorhome, great condition. Make sure and check out my site, check out my other stuff. Thanks for watching.